Hey, Ryan, Chris Perkins from the South Florida Sun Sentinel. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, uh, I wanted to know about um, position versatility and can you play inside? Are you going to play left tackle? Can you play right tackle? What have the Dolphins told you about your role? Yeah, so I, I don't know a ton about what they want me to do yet, but I'm definitely, um, I, I'll play anywhere. I can play tackle, play tackle, both tackles a little bit in college, mostly left, but I, I'd be open to moving inside wherever gets me on the field, helps, helps the team win. So I'm open. Do you have any experience? Uh, I mean, extensive. I know you just said you you played uh, on the right side, but any extensive experience moving around high school or, or earlier in your career? Yeah, so in high school, I was actually came into college as a tight end. So I actually hadn't played any line until I got to Michigan. And then for my first year, I played uh, on the right side. And then the last four years, I was mainly left tackle. Okay, thank you, Ron. Joe? Hey, it's uh, Joe from the Palm Beach Post. It's nice to meet you. Congratulations on being drafted. Um, for those of us who have not yet studied your film, how would you describe uh, what what we'll probably see? Yeah, I think I'm a I'm a smart player. I know where I'm going at all times. So that allows me to know my angles. So I think I play fast. So allows me to play extremely fast and use my athleticism to an advantage. And every play I'm out there, I'm going to finish finish as hard as I can to the whistle. So you're going to get a hardworking guy that flies around the field. Is there uh, an NFL lineman that you have enjoyed studying, especially, I don't know, maybe a former Michigan guy, anything like that? Yeah, I, I kind of like to watch the top guys around the league at, at their position, guys like um, Trent Williams, guys like guys like that. But I definitely have I've watched a ton of Toronto Arpset. We had an old coach that used to coach oh, cool. him. Yeah, so I we watched a lot of his old films, so. It's really going to be awesome getting in that room with him and just learning what he what he has for me. Who was the coach and what was his position on the staff? Uh, it was Brett Ingles of the Saints. O line coach. Former Saint, a former Saints coach was the O line coach. Yep. Okay, thank you very much. Travis. Hey Ryan, I'm Travis Winkle here with the Miami Dolphins. Congrats on being drafted here. Uh, so I was looking at some of your background here. I saw conference player of the year in basketball. Uh, conference pitcher of the year in high school. How do you think playing multiple sports and excelling at that really helped you, uh, you know, transition to, the, or not transition, but just, you know, it helped you in the football field? Yeah, I mean, I always, I was always competing year round. I think that's what I love to do. I just loved sports growing up. So that kept me busy, kept me doing all kinds of things. And I don't know, it just, I think it got me prepared for the next level, switching to O-line, never done that before, but I did so many things already. I think I was prepared for it. So I'm super, super excited for this next challenge. I also saw that uh, you, your dad was a guard at Central Michigan and your mother was a, a hooper, an all-American hooper. Who do you think you got more of your athletic ability from, mom or dad? Uh, my dad would say the same thing, but definitely definitely a little more from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks, Ryan. Yep. Omar? Hey, Ryan. Uh, this is Omar Kelly. Uh, I want to ask you, what are you weighing now? Because when I when I saw your weight, I was mm -hmm. I was kind of intrigued. Um, that you're you're under 300 pounds is, is that something hard for you to do to keep on weight as a, as a tight end as a former tight end no actually right before I got out to the combine I got a little a little food poisoning I've never had before so I lost like I lost a little bit of weight it was kind of hard to get back on right before but at my pro day I weighed in at 305 and right now I'm between I've been between 305 and 310 so that's not an issue it was just kind of a weird thing bad timing uh, and I wanted to ask you also about um, your what is the Michigan program? Because they've got a, a good reputation for producing offensive linemen. How do you feel that that helps you in this process? And what has the draft process been like? I mean, yeah, the draft process has been up and down a lot of grades. I mean, obviously, I was trying to take everything in because um, it's a once in a lifetime experience. But from Michigan, I think it prepared me really well for this process. We run a lot of the same schemes, I think, that we were being taught and um, asked to talk about through the process. Obviously, we've got great coaching there, so I don't think I could have been, picked a better place to be at to get ready for this next step. So you ran a lot of wide zone schemes. Uh, we didn't run a ton. I wish we ran a little more wide zone, but we were we had success with the inside zone and gap scheme. But I definitely think my game will translate to wide zone. I, I I'm really looking forward to running a lot more of that down in Miami. Thank you, Mark. 
How you doing, Ryan? Uh, Mark Stahl with uh, Miami Times. Welcome to Miami. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, first of all, uh, you're from Michigan. Uh, what are you looking forward most to from the transition from Michigan to uh, South Florida? Definitely just nice weather all the time. <laughs> That'll be that'll be great for me. I uh, was hoping to get down there somewhere warm and definitely a great place to be. And can you speak a little bit on uh, Coach Harbaugh, uh, what he has taught you uh, during your uh, career at Michigan? Yeah, I think Coach Harbaugh has just taught us. He runs his program like he would a professional organization. So I think I just I think that's why so many Michigan players have success at the next level because we're already kind of primed for what to expect. Not totally, but I think he just does a really good job of having it be businesslike and uh, result oriented. And what were your uh, initial reactions when you found out that you were getting drafted by the Dolphins? I was super excited. Big weight off my shoulders. I didn't I didn't know exactly um, if that's what they were calling for or not. So I was just super happy when they told me they were taking my name off the board. I couldn't 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 really explain the feeling. All right, thank you. We have one more question, Omar. So uh, you you said so were teams calling you about signing as an undrafted uh, free agent at, at that point in draft? I was hearing some rumblings from my agent, but didn't didn't really know what was going on yet. Yeah, yeah, but I knew it was getting towards the end.